Hello students, today's lesson is Chapter 2, Lesson 1, Writing and Graphing Inequalities. Today we're starting on page 30 in your journals. An inequality is defined as a mathematical sentence that compares expressions. It contains the symbol less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. A solution of the inequality is a value that makes the inequality true. An inequality can have more than one solution. So the set of all of the solutions of the inequality is called the solution set. A graph of an inequality shows the solution set of that inequality on a number line. We will look at examples of this in the core concepts down here. So if I were to say x is less than 2, notice that I use the less than symbol, and it's an open circle heading down from 2. This means that the solution set does not include the number 2. x is greater than 2 looks like this. It has a greater than symbol. It also has an open circle, and it's everything above 2. Once again, just like the one above, 2 is not included in the solution set. x is less than or equal to 2. This time, 2 is part of the solution set, and you can see that with a less than or equal to sign. And this time, it has a closed circle. So that means that whenever you see a closed circle, then that number is part of the solution set. And x is greater than or equal to 2. Looks like this, greater than or equal to with a line underneath it. And notice that it's also closed circle because just like this one up here, this time the number 2 is, again, part of the solution set. OK, we're going to take a few notes down here. So these are some key phrases that you can look for for the different symbols. This first one is less than, so obviously we could say is less than, or we could say is fewer than. For the greater than symbol, we could say is greater than, or we could say is more than. For the less than or equal to, we could say is less than or equal to. We could also say is at most, or we could say is no more than. And lastly, for this symbol here, we could say is greater than or equal to, or we could say is at least, or we could say is no less than. On the next page, for exercises one through four, we need to write the sentence as an inequality. So it says 12 is greater than or equal to five times a number n. So whenever you're writing this, uh, sen taking a word sentence and changing it into an equation, or in this case, into an inequality, the key is that you need to find the word is because that separates what is what's going on on the left side versus what's going on on the right side. In this case, we have 12, so I'm going to go ahead and write 12, and then I need to figure out what is means. It says is greater than or equal to. So that tells me that my symbol is going to be a greater than or equal to sign. Now we need to look and see what's next. 5 times a number n. So we would just need to write 5 multiplied by a number n, and since you, if you have an, a constant and a variable next to each other, that means multiplication. So I just need to do that. OK, in number two, let's find the word is. So we have it here. So we see that the word is uh, works there. So it's is less than. OK, so now that means on the left side, we have 1 third of a number h. Of is a term that means multiplication. So that means we need to do 1 third multiplied by the number h, and then we say is less than, so that would be the less than symbol, and then 15. OK, number 3. 7 is less than or equal to the difference of a number q and 6. So here's my word is again, and that's uh, connected to this part here. So we have the word 7 is less than or equal to and so now let's see what it says. The difference. Difference is a word that means subtraction. And what are we subtracting? We're subtracting q and 6. So we would say q 
minus 6. Number 4, the sum of a number u and 14 is more than 6. So here again, there's our word is. The word sum means addition. So that means that it says the sum of a number u and 14. So we would say u plus 14. And then it says is more than. So that would be the greater than symbol. And then we say it have six there. So there we have it. Okay, in numbers five and six, tell whether the value is a solution to the inequality. So here we're given an inequality and they want us to see if 19 is a solution. So this is gonna be a yes or no answer. What we need to do to find out if it is, is take our 19 and substitute it in for the D. So instead of D, I'm gonna write 19. The rest stays the same. And now I just need to solve from there. 19 minus seven is 12. So this would be 12 is less than 12. That is not correct. 12 is actually equal to 12. So this answer is no. Incidentally, if it was this instead, 12 is less than or equal to 12, then it would have been yes. But it doesn't have an equal to part. So then that means that our answer remains no. Okay, let's take a look at number six. 9 is greater than or equal to 3n plus 6, and they want n this time to be 1. So we need to figure out, is 1 a solution? So I'm going to take my number n, substitute it into the equation here, or my inequality, excuse me. So 9 greater than or equal to 3 multiplied by 1 plus 6, and I simplify. So 3, 3 plus 6 is 9. This time it says 9 is greater than or equal to 9. That is true. So we're going to say, yes, n is a solution to that inequality. Number 7 through 10, it says to graph the inequality. So our inequality says x is greater than or equal to 3. So that means that 3 is where we put our circle. Now, since it's greater than or equal to, it means that 3 is a solution. So how we show that on our number line is we need to color in that circle. So it says x is greater than or equal to 3. So that means 3, uh, 4 would also be a solution, and 5 would be a solution, so we would go to the right. How you can double check that is you can plug the ones that you choose back into the equation. So we can see, does is 4 greater than or equal to 3? Yes, it is. Is 5 greater than or equal to 3? Yes, it is. We could also plug in ones that we think are not a solution, like for example, negative three. So is negative three greater than or equal to three? And no, it's not. So we know that that's not part of the solution set. Only three and everything above it is a solution. You try number eight on your own. Okay, here's what you should have gotten. You should have gotten a closed circle at four and everything going to the left. Number nine says x is greater than negative one. So that means that we put our circle at negative 1. Since it says just greater than, that means that negative 1 is not a solution. So that means that we keep the circle open. So it's everything bigger than negative 1. So that means that we go off to the right. Once again, we can plug in a couple of numbers, like we can plug in maybe 5 here and see if that should work. 5 is greater than negative 1. Yes, it works. And we could plug in something that's not part of the solution set to check. So for example, negative 5 is greater than one, negative 1, and that is a no. And we can see that on our graph because it's not part of the solution set. Only uh, everything above negative 1. Notice that if we plugged negative 1 into the solution set, it should also be a no. So that would be negative 1 is greater than negative 1. And again, that's a no, and we could see that because it's an open circle. Okay, you try number 10 on your own. You should have gotten an open circle at one and everything below one. In exercises 11 through 14, we need to write the inequality that represents the graph. So let's take a look, I'm gonna to skip to number 12. Number 12 has an open circle and it's everything below. So that means that we, and it doesn't matter what variable you use, I'm just gonna use x x is less than 0. And notice that it's not less than or equal to because it's an open circle. 
On number 13, this time we have a closed circle at negative 3, and it's everything above that. So we would say x is greater than or equal to this time negative 3. You go ahead and do numbers 11 and 14 on your own. For number 11, I got x is greater than 1. For number 14, I got x is less than or equal to 3. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.